Hey everybody, Luxinda Swirl here. Okay, new day, new cup project. This is going to be the epitome of an experiment because I have no clue how this will turn out. I mean, I really don't know. I'm not even sure I can guess. So I'm just gonna do it and we're gonna see what happens, even if it's a fail. So be forewarned, this could be a total disaster. You never know here. All right, so I got this off of AliExpress. This is a mica powder, basically, that, <laughs> It's gold. It's gold colored. It turns resin gold. Um, so I am going to mix some of this in to some resin. About This is a 20 ounce tumbler, so about 15, 20 milliliters. We're basically going to do an alcohol ink swirl. The unknown factor is how this is going to change anything or everything. So I'm going to mix this in the resin, put the resin on here, drop these inks on, and we're going to see what we get. I'm not gonna put any white on top. I'm not gonna do any of that. May give it some heat, may encourage it to move with tipping and reversing the spin and all that. We're just gonna see what we get because I really don't know. The colors I'm using are Tim Holtz Ranger um, Pitch Black. So it's it's pretty dense and black. And then I have three Brie Reese. And it, the reason I'm using these instead of my Woody's goodies that I turned to a lot recently is because I know these are three very dense, heavily pigmented alcohol inks. We have cobalt green, ultramarine blue, and purple. Uh, there's also a cadmium red that would be a really dense ink of theirs as well, but I don't think red would play well with these colors. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do these. We have these three, whoops, green, blue, purple, and black. On to gold, and we're, we're just gonna see what we get. So, Good luck, me. <laughs> Sit back and enjoy the show.
And we're back. Okay, this was bizarre. This is just bizarre. <laughs> I really, I warned you I had no idea what to expect and I was not kidding. So it has dried. Uh, I, I wasn't even sure that was gonna happen, that it was gonna set up. I put so much stuff on here. All the colors, which completely disappeared and the gold that kept swallowing everything and alcohol on top, which produced a really cool effect for a few seconds and then the gold swallowed it all up again. So yeah, bizarro. This was a bizarro cup, but now I know. Uh, so let's take a look at what we did get in the end after all of that. Bring you over here into the daylight. As you can see, I have one bald spot here. Again, none of this bothers me. I really, really didn't know what to expect. Here's a little bit of color. Look, a little bit of green after all that. A little bit there. Oh my God. And I put the littlest bit of black on. That was what I started with. And now it looks kind of like there was a lot more black than anything else, but there really wasn't this. This, by this I mean this, was weird. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to use this stuff on a cup again. I am going to try and put this in some casting resin and cast another skull with this because I think that will look supremely cool. But putting it on a cup, I don't know, man. I just don't know what to do with this now. It's kind of cool. I mean, I don't, again, I don't dislike it. Uh, stuff like this can be covered up. I'm not worried about that. This looks sort of like there's a style of antique mirror that, that would have this sort of aged gold marbly look to it. I'm going to try and find a picture of what I'm talking about and I will insert it here. I'm tempted to put another layer of epoxy resin on this and then add the colors. These were the colors I dropped in that you pretty much can't see anymore. So I'm thinking another layer of resin. I have to say when I was doing this in the previous part of the video, when I was doing the, the alcohol inks of, of all of these, all of these colors, I liked how the green looked the best. So maybe we'll do another layer of epoxy resin and just drop greens on. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on. We will do what I just, what I just said. I'm not gonna ditch the cup yet. We're gonna put some green on, maybe more than just this green, maybe a couple different greens in a, in a new layer. And we're back. All right, I have had some time to think about this. I think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is put a very thin layer of resin on this, clear resin, maybe some marabou sparkles, maybe not. Sparkles will probably help. I'm gonna proceed with the idea of putting greens on here. So a thin layer of resin, clear resin, maybe marabou sparkles, and then I'm going to drop on sparingly, because I'd still like the gold to show through, these four greens. Uh, Woody's Goodies, Last Word, and Hocus Pocus. This is Cobalt Green from the Brie Reese line, and this is Metallic Green. So this will have a tiny bit of sheen in it. That's a Marabou alcohol ink. And, um, you know, I'll hit it with heat, I'll tilt it, I'll reverse the spinning direction and all that, and we will see what we get. I may, at the very end, if I'm, if I'm still looking for something a little different, I may spritz it with some 91% alcohol. I may not. Um, if I do, you'll see me hold the sprayer here before I spritz. It'll just be a light mist that breaks up the alcohol inks, but I don't know, maybe it won't be necessary. I'm gonna suit up and all that stuff. So just sit back and enjoy the show. Let's see what we get this time.
And we're back. Okay, so I have I have video recorded this portion of the video uh, numerous times already, and my camera keeps crapping out on me. I apologize for that, even though you didn't have to see any of it. Uh, I had to live through it. But here we go again. I will try and act surprised. But, ooh, look. <laughs> this has been a very strange project. Not just because of my camera's behavior, but because this entire thing was weird. So I was going to ask for suggestions on what to do with this cup. But instead, I'm going to do it here. I've, I've come to my own decision based on a suggestion for a different gold cup I did recently. And I think I'm going to run with that. So I'm going to switch to a different angle. Hang tight. Okay, here we are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go steampunk with this. I have some interesting steampunk-ish drawings and artwork. Uh, I will put links below to where I got this from. I printed it out first on a clear vinyl, and that would look great, except obviously we have many, many parts of this cup that are darker than, <laughs> than the light parts. <laughs> So, um, clear vinyl, like a water slide, tends to disappear, or like a tattoo, kind of disappears. It needs a white background. So now I've printed it on printable vinyl with a white back. I am going to see where we can, I want to cover this mess up. I was trying to cover that from the first layer, where it developed a big hole that shows the, um, the naked cup underneath. And I've got a little divot there as well. And this is basically kind of cool looking, what's around it. So, let's put our owl there. I can get him off. Carefully. This is called printable vinyl, but it is not. It is more like paper. It's, it's tough, but not super tough. You can tear it. Uh, you can, if you put transfer tape on it, which you shouldn't do because when you try and pull it off, it'll pull a picture with it. So, uh, I'm going to put him right there. He's cool, isn't he? Okay. So there's that guy. And I'm going to put this spider on the bottom, I think. So we'll put these guys. Now, normally I don't want to have anything to do with spiders. I mean, even pictures of them scare the crap out of me. Uh, but for some reason, when you, when you mechanize them, they don't terrify me anymore. Go figure. That makes no sense. Let's see, where should this be? I guess it doesn't really matter. Does it matter? It doesn't need to be opposite anything. I'll put him down here. Still room for somebody's name on it if they want to have their name on it. And then we'll put our dragonfly. Hopefully. As usual, I printed at least two of everything. I believe in having a backup. Now let's put the dragonfly here, like that, okay, now that means you could still fit somebody's name along the back, make the owl the front, put somebody's name here, or even here, and uh, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, we'll do the bottom, and then I'm going to give this one more layer of resin, actually, well, let one, one thing at a time, let's do the bottom. Okay, here's this guy on, on here. Put him. Come on. Right there. There we go. All right, so next, what comes next is I spray two layers of Rust Oleum Clear X onto this to seal everything onto the cup completely. And then I put another layer of resin on it. I put Marabou Rainbow Alcohol Ink into the resin. It gives it just a little bit of sparkle. It's not glitter, it's just sparkle. It's 
Mrs. Nola from Mr. Nola's Glitter calls it the magic sauce. So we put the magic sauce in our rosinware. So that's what I'm gonna do. And the next thing you're gonna see is the big reveal.